Hey guys, so today I'm gonna try something a little bit different with my videos. Um, I think I'm gonna try something out where I do like a tip and a trick every Tuesday. They will be aptly called Tip and Trick Tuesdays. Working on the name. Uh, but you get the idea. So I wanted to try that out and every Tuesday come up with a new tip or trick for you guys to check out. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this when we're all done. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do the other days yet, but give me suggestions, down down for anything. Um, but today, on this Tip or Trick Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to drop in to the Echo Show, Echo Dot, and Echo. So if you're not familiar with what uh, dropping in is, it's a feature on the Echo devices, and a few of them, that allows you to basically drop in um, unannounced onto somebody's Echo device. Now, that basically means like there's no calling and then somebody has to pick up, it's literally just, Poof, I'm there, I'm in your room, and I'm talking to you. Obvious privacy concerns, uh, but it does require you to actually enable exactly who you wanna be able to do this. You can also set like scheduled times where you do, you know, wanna do not disturb, say Friday night. I don't, you know, a mom calling, dropping in, it's weird, um, but you get the idea. It is a pretty handy feature though, because it kind of almost works like an intercom, and depending on who you allow to use it, obviously, uh, it can be kind of fun. So, to get started, we're gonna download the Alexa app on your phone if you don't already have it, and make sure that you have the latest version. It should automatically have you set up Alexa calling and messaging when you open the latest version, but if not, tap the speech bubble icon, conversations it's called, and it will have you sign up there. Next, head to settings. Tap on all the devices you want to allow drop-in on, as in people can call into this device. Then tap on drop-in under general, Set it to on to allow all calls in. Only my household if you want to use it simply to and from your own devices in your house, like an intercom, or off to disable it on that device entirely. Now, drop-in is not allowed from any context by default until we choose which ones want to be manually enabled. No. Now, even though we turn drop-in on on the device, it actually uh, is not enabled for any contacts by default, which is probably smart. So we need to go in and manually allow each person that we want to be able to drop in. To do that, tap the conversations icon at the bottom again, and then tap the person icon at the top to get to contacts. Tap the contact you want to allow, then tap allow drop in. Now that person will be able to drop into the device you selected earlier instantly. Now, if you wanna drop into somebody else's Echo, all you have to say from your Echo is Alexa drop in on and then insert the contact's name. Uh, if you're one of the people that they've allowed, then you'll instantly just kind of be transmitted to their device and be able to start talking. Um, if it is the Echo Show, by the way, what it does is it kind of does like a frosted glass look for a couple of seconds um, before it starts showing you what is on the other side. It does that just in case the person's not um, presentable. I suppose, gives them a couple of seconds to kind of get ready. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty instant. Now alternatively, you can open the Alexa app on your phone, tap on the conversations tab, tap the contact you want to drop in on, ones that have allowed you should be visible there. If not, tap the people icon and then tap the contact. And that's basically the gist. And there you go. Quick little tip on something that I think is kind of fun that uh, is unique to the Echo series. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments below. Also of me doing this like tips and tricks series, I'd like to hear about that as well. Um, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it or subscribe to the channel. All of that is greatly appreciated. Uh, and as always, regardless, thanks for watching.